eel fishermen checking their nets on the Wheatley River. Well, we are just uh, all packed up here now and ready to hit the road. Jerry's decided to join us. He's got his crutches packed. It's gonna be a long ride. We're going to Holton, Maine today. And uh, Jerry is gonna, he's, he's a tough guy. I mean, he just wants to do it on the pedal bike, so. Yeah, I just this, can't it, wait. It's gonna be good. Crossing the border is gonna be tricky. Yeah. Cause you look semi-homeless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but it's gonna be a good day, yeah. So thanks to Jerry and Golda for their unbelievable hospitality over the last two days. Uh, we had a real blast here. It was a nice way to split up the trip. So onward and upward, we'll see you on the road. After leaving Golda's and Jerry's, we made our way back across the Confederation Bridge. This truly is a marvel of engineering and this 13 kilometer stretch of asphalt and concrete is a testament of what can be accomplished when people set their minds to something. Now as a guy that's not a huge fan of heights, my heart is always beating a little bit quicker when I drive over that bridge. As always, we opted to take the scenic route and travel along Route 102 where we crossed the Mactaquac Dam. We hugged the beautiful St. John River and stopped briefly on Route 105 near Nakawick, where Paul paid his respects to his parents and his brother. We were honored to share this moment with him. Then it was on to Hartland, New Brunswick to see the longest covered bridge in the world. Unfortunately, I lost all the drone footage of it. We are in Heartland, and we just crossed the longest covered bridge in the world. Paul, you've been here before? A couple times, yeah. 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 It's kind of impressive. One lane traffic, you can only go across one at a time, but what do you think? How do you know when to stop and go? I think it's kind of like, Get it's like first. the bridge in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Get there first before the other Yeah, guy. I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna send the drone up there now and get some shots of that. Ooh, that point is so hot though. Uh. Alright, we are approaching the United States border. Let's see if uh let's see if we can pull the Yanks and let them three rusty nuts into their fine country for a couple of days. See you on the other side. We made it. We got past the border. Lovely lady uh, with border services is just dealing with Paul now. She, she's probably gonna be there for an hour and a half because he likes to talk. She said, do you have uh, cash in excess of $10,000? I said, I did before I left. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Of their, uh, of their country. 
All right, we're at our lodging for tonight. Ivy's Motor, oh, Ivy's Motor Inn. Ivy's Motor Inn. Now, Todd, your highlight for today. That was my, uh, my highlight today is a no-brainer. Yeah, I figured. It was stopping at my mother's and father's funeral. It was. It meant a lot to me. And I thank the boys for letting me do that ride. That was absolutely our pleasure, and I'm glad you said it first, because for me, there was something special about that. I mean, it, the whole environment, it was just gorgeous. The weather was beautiful, and it's right on the St. John River. And to see you there, uh, reconnecting like that, was, was amazing. Uh, the whole ride today was great. i got to be honest with you, Paul led us through probably the most beautiful part of New Brunswick I've ever seen. I didn't even know it existed. And uh, it was a long ride. Skipper's a bit tired, but... Uh, yeah, tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, long ride, but a great day. And, uh, you know, I, I think nothing else needs to be said on what Paul said, because uh, glad uh, Monty and I could be there with him. It was awesome. First break the news handles. It's <laughs> awful quiet here tonight. No, we're quiet till we get a beverage out. We need a beverage, Monty. What I was wondering about today, I was actually thinking about that today, because I got a GPS, so I got a general idea where... I had no idea where you're going. From the time we left, you, pro you probably didn't have a clue where we were or what we were doing, because you don't have a GPS, you have no idea. About two hours ago, I was saying, we dare yet? Oh, come on, let's get there. <laughs> that would make it harder for me. When you know... But when I got, once I got the sesame seeds and the Christmas songs... <laughs> Hank's riding the bike is 32 degrees, hot enough to melt you, and... Uh, what was it, your ear pods were playing Christmas music? My ear pods, and, and I just went on YouTube and selected some music, and she randomly, and I couldn't get at my iPhone when I was driving, so she just randomly selected songs, I guess is on my phone. <laughs> the boys at the NYPD. <laughs> Christmas songs going over, then there's an odd one of Johnny Reed came in, and I'm chewing on my sun seeds, I was really relaxed then. There you go, now you're straightening away, that's good. All right, All right, we are on day six, Rusty Nuts, and we are in Maine. It's a little loud here because the uh, lawnmowers are going. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, today is going to take us up into northern and central Maine. Uh, I'm not really sure. We asked a few people about some areas that would be nice to see. And so we're going to head into uh, the great unknown at this point. Looking forward to this. A little crestfallen because we're sort of approaching the end of our of our trip here. Tomorrow I think we're going to be going back into Canada, probably going to do the Cabot Trail and try to get as close to the boat uh, before day eight as possible because it's calling for rain. But uh, yeah, so join us for the journey. Gas prices are certainly cheaper. Well, we said a dollar a liter last night, but that's US, so that's a dollar. Yeah. $40. No, we can do it. Pretty good. Not really sure where we are, but we're at the end of Route 163 and the start of Route 11. And we're just getting gas.
Hey, good morning, everybody. It's day uh, seven, I think. We are still in Maine, and we're heading back today to go to uh, Cape Breton so that we're a little closer to the boat. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'm just packing up here, trying to keep everything as tight as possible. I looked out the window, and I saw that for the first time ever, Hank is out of bed and ready to go. I'm usually waiting for him, but today, and Paul's over there. I guess I'm a late one today. Oh well, we'll see you on the road. That was awesome. Wasn't that something? Other than a little too hot in one corner and sort of scraped out. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, it was great. The bikes are a little bit dirty, but not too bad because we didn't get any rain. So it's mostly just dust and bugs. And oil coming off Monty's bike getting light. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. A little bit of that after. Like yours, Pete. Pretty rough looking, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'll, listen, after I get my shower, <laughs> you'll, you'll say, wow, what a different guy. All right, we are on the ferry heading back to Newfoundland. Mixed emotions, gonna be great to get back and see family again, obviously, but uh, we were saying earlier, uh, the riding today in particular was absolutely amazing and we are gonna miss this, uh, this excursion. So, final thoughts from, uh, I'll start with Paul. Uh, yeah, it uh, today wasn't really expecting a lot out of the ride, and we took a run that none of us had been not not knowing what we were going to hit, yeah. and it was phenomenal. Yeah, the roads were, were twists, the turns, scraped a little one, <laughs> but uh, it was it was just. Yeah. I, I keep saying the word was fantastic. Was awesome. You can't say keep saying it every day, and unfortunately, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I concur with Mr. Lonnie there on mixed feelings. Uh, when we're coming in over Kelly's Mountain, uh, 
I, that's when I got the feeling well, I was over now. We're almost to the boat. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like I said, mixed feelings. He enjoyed every moment. And Paul, it's been a been a pleasure hanging with you, man. I uh, enjoyed every minute of it, and we'll do it again sometime, sure. Awesome. But as Monty said, uh, looking forward to getting home and seeing the, the wife and the kids. And yeah. believe it or not, this might sound weird, but uh, looking forward to seeing the guys at work. I kind of miss it. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're done uh, for this one. Uh, probably do a little montage tomorrow of us finally uh, getting back to our residences and everything. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it has been an absolute blast. Uh, probably eight of the best days of my life in terms of adventure and just stories and laughs and talks and, uh, and lies <laughs> and lies lots of lies <laughs> and really just connecting with people i mean hank and i are we're, we're cousins but we haven't been super close over the years and uh, and paul and i have been friends but not close friends and i think the, yeah and i think the relationship over the last probably eight days has improved and uh, I don't know, I don't even, I'm, I'm out of words. I just, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to these guys for taking part. And remember, it's always better on two wheels. Ciao.